The homes on the property behind me have already been cleared to make way for an affordable housing project that will be coming to the north end in the near future. All that remains are a handful of trees that have been standing for many years. As part of the redevelopment process, the landscape of Pleasant Vale 2 will be removing a majority of these trees to make way for the new project. Now the Kelowna Tree Protector is a group of concerned citizens protecting historical and rare trees across the city are taking a stand to save these mature and healthy trees. On this site, there are 25 trees. The arborist, Vernon Mumby, who uh, recommended the healthy trees that be saved said 10 of them should be saved on the site. And what's happened is the site plans show that there are only four that are going to be saved. The big beautiful green one in the middle is not one of them. There are herons that nest in that tree. There are owls that use it. It's beautiful. It's got 75 more years of life in it. It's got a monetary value as it stands of $64,000 for what it does for the environment. We don't want to see that thing disappear. We would like to see the plans on the site changed so that the buildings are built around the tree and the tree can be protected. With this project specifically, we've actually got um, some significant, interesting, unique trees that are actually surviving super well. A lot of it because the soils have been undisturbed. So we've got one of the few locations that haven't had big, newer technology machinery on site that really does destroy a lot of the natural soil layering. So here we've got some uh, interesting trees that are um, not commonly healthy in the area, Sur not just surviving, but thriving on this site. While original plans for Pleasant Vale 2 had slated to remove all of the trees, a reconfiguration allowed for four of them to remain. In a statement from the BC Housing Association, the plan for Pleasant Vale 2 includes planting approximately two times the number of trees to be removed, with the size of the new trees at the time of planting sufficient to create an instant landscape. The retention of existing mature trees is often difficult, not just because the trees may conflict with the housing development plan, but also because the development of new infrastructure and buildings can create unsustainable stress on established root systems. Plans for this project are anticipated to be brought forward to City Council in early April and the Kelowna tree protectors are hoping that their concerns will be heard before anything is approved. People who are interested, like we definitely want them to understand, the project is not completed. It is not too late for us to have these conversations and it's yep. not too late for us to actually make a poll for these trees. We're hoping that anyone who's interested or has a curiosity or even has happened to remember the gorgeous autumn show these trees put on to add their voice with a simple letter to council so that council can be aware that there are a multitude number of people who are interested in this project. And if we just listen now, can you hear those birds? Where do those birds live, right? Can you hear them over there? Probably, I don't know what tree. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's wonderful, eh?